Specifically, we're looking for uh, what's his name? Anthir? No, not looking for Anthir. Sergius? No, not really looking for Sergius either, but he'll do. Take a look. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna sell this amulet of Xenathar. I rarely ever wear it, and when I do, I forget to take it back off, and it just causes me more problems than it's worth. Um, oh, I still have Stormcloak boots on. Whoops. I can tell you that. And that's going to be about it, I think. <laughs> so weird looking at on his face. And now he's going to change our boots really quick to those. Now let's go to the Archmage's quarters. <clears throat> See if Tolfdir's up there. Uh, while we're here, we'll tell him an update on the war and uh, our place in it and how long we think this is going to take us and all that jazz. Wolf dear, are you in? Oh, yes, you are. Okay. Whoa. To see Skyrim still has such hell, Aaron. Fine people. Huh? You give an old man hope. Well, that's good to hear. That means he's not totally pissed I'm off at us. I'm available should you need me, Archmage. Um... Anything I should be aware of? Hmm, is there anything I should be aware of since I'm now back at the college for a short time? Yes, I believe there is. Yes? What is it? We've been contacted by the Jarl of Falk. Oh, good grief. It would seem there's some sort of disturbance. From what few details we were given, it sounds quite familiar. Oh, great. I suspect that the power released by the Eye of Magnus was not fully contained and has coalesced in this part of Skyrim. I do uh, hope you still have the Staff of Magnus someplace. Yeah, I do. I suspect you're going to need it. Okay, this is important. Uh, I didn't realize you had to do more than one. Uh, okay, let's let's trade. Um, Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast. Them. Okay, so we do need to get to, we need to get to Falkreath quickly. Um, okay, you know what? Well, I'll, t I'll talk about it here when we get to the map. What do you have for sale? Any new cool spells? Not really. No. Can I sell you anything that I don't want anymore? No, I can sell you that, probably. No. No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Okay. Um... Hey. Alright, so here's the plan, right? We're going south. Swing past Windholm. Windhelm. We'll go by Lost Knife Hideout to try to get Queen Freitas' sword. And I, I think maybe I already mentioned it. Maybe I didn't. And I thinks that if Queen Freitas' sword would help Ulfric politically, then it would certainly help Elisef politically. So she should probably grab it while she's on her way. We'll go down here to the Peril Imperial camp. We'll check in. We'll see when the next fight is. If we have to fight right away, we'll go. Probably, I imagine there'll be an assault, uh, assault on Fort Greenwall. If, however, it's going to be a day or two before they stage the assault, we'll go to Falkreath and take care of the rupture, wherever it might be. Let's check it. Where is it going to be? Oh, so not too far into Falkreath. That's good. So just on the other side of Helgen, basically. Okay, so we could do that. We'll check in. I imagine it'll probably be like dawn the next day before they want to stage the assault on Fort Greenwall. So if we get there, say, midday tomorrow, we'd have the afternoon and evening to go close the rupture. It'd be a busy trip, but we can do it, I think. Whew, man. Well, definitely needs our attention, you know. It's not something we can just gloss over. We are the master wizard of the college and the college does have responsibility for the whole eye of magnus and all the aftermath and all that stuff so okay all right all right all right all right okay well anyway right now and going to explain to tolf Deer, if he doesn't walk away from us um what the latest news is that the war seems to be going well for the imperials and that if all progresses as it has been it should be over soon at which point we can come back and help out and he's like okay fine good 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 Still wish you would have checked in with me, but 
uh, before joining one side or the other, but still. Uh, good to know that you're doing alright, and we are good to know, or we're happy to know that we'll have you back at some point in the near future. So, a little bit frosty, but Tolfdeer still loves us. We are going this way because we want to check the Arcanium, see if any of the... Oh, the professors are in here. Magnus here, but I wonder what we could have done with the eye. Don't know. Been put to um, use. Trade? I mean, trade. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to I cast. Do them. you have anything new? Blind? Nah. Got a bunch of phantom image type spells. No, 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 no. Hmm. Hmm. I don't use illusion very much, and I don't think that I'll start now, so I'm gonna say no. Good day. I have I think I've mentioned to a commenter before, I have so many spells that I want to use and so very few that I actually do use, student that I really kind of am looking to just stick with something close to the number I have so I don't have to keep trying to remember to use all these spells. There are few places where one can pursue Moment my of, of truth. Take a look. Conjuration. Do you have a summon Storm Atronach? Banish Daedra. I wonder if I shouldn't get that. Just in case. I'm going to. Just in case. I don't anticipate going up against many Daedra the rest of the game, but no, you don't have a Storm Atronach. Damn. Hmm. Bummer. You know what? It's so late. It's like 5 o'clock already. We're going to eat dinner. We'll probably read a book, and then we'll probably go to bed and just get a fresh start from here tomorrow because we're safe here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Falion see if he can teach me something about Conjuration and say that's how Anai spends a few hours this evening, is him training her on Conjuration. Just to help level it up. We got tons of gold, might as well. I'll teach you some of what I know. But I don't think I've done this very I think the only thing I've done like this in this LP is when I leveled up with uh Amran on one handed those few times there really early in Act One. Ooh, that's expensive, but so be it. And that's it. That was a lot of money, but we have... Have we leveled up? No, just short of leveling up. Okay. Alright, uh, so let's wait next. then. Uh, let's say three hours. That was three hours of training. Nice. And I guess uh, even more an expert at conjuration. Spell. Now to the Hall of Countenance. We'll check with the other professors there. Then back to our room. We'll eat some dinner. Read a little bit. Be on our way. Uh, tomorrow morning, I mean. Oop, jeez, I hit my headphones. Sorry, guys, if you heard that. Um, I wonder if... What's the name of the woman, who the, the elf woman who sells, uh, does destruction? I forget her name. I wonder if she might... Oh, God, the storm. hope the horses are okay. They, should, they look fine. Um, take some of this, actually. And some of that. I can't remember her name, but she might have some cool... I, I want to say the last time we were here, there were some, like, wall spells that we could have gotten but didn't get. She might have them for us to get. They're going to be expensive, but we still... Even despite that costly training, we do have a ton of gold still. Mara protect us Only 10,000 gold. Um, just gotta find her if she's here. Finis. There are Arniel. few places where one can pursue my type of work without fear of persecution. Maybe upstairs? There's nobody in here. Where the hell is everyone? Creepy Draugr. Colette is already sleeping. It's only like 9 o'clock at night. 
Okay, she's not here. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll come back tomorrow morning. We oh no no no! Here she is, Feralda. That's your Tolf name. Is master wizard. Certainly didn't anticipate that. Hmm. And um, to think Mirabel questioned my allowing you into the college. I can just imagine the look on her face now. Well, she's dead, so she doesn't have any look on her face right now. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast. Make yourself at home, Erinder. Just help yourself. Right. Um. Touch. Yeah, got those. Got those. Got those. Got those. Here we go. Walls. Oh, that's a lot of money. It's gonna almost tap me out. But I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Three wall See? destruction spells, which should be pretty badass. And a banished Daedra. For Ow. kicks. Now, um. Nick, oh. 48, 42, and 48 per second. Per second. Wow. Well, they are expert. Very cool. Anyway, thank you for all the pleasure. Um, back to the Hall of Attainment. And... Let's see. Dinner. And then book. And then bed. We managed to accomplish what we came here to do, except buying a Conjure Storm Atronach spell, which apparently we are not... Uh, qualified to wield. What is our skill level in Conjuration, anyway? 67? We should be getting close. Probably at 70, I bet, is when we get it. When it becomes available to us, I mean. Mara protect us both. Then we'll have to s sneak out of town quietly tomorrow morning. Um, I do still have more to talk about with the Elder Scrolls, so uh, stay tuned with that. I'm not going to do any of it tonight, because we'll just eat dinner and read and go to bed. But um, Another episode sometime, we'll do it. We've been out without music now for a while again. Oh well. Let's eat in here. Uh, oh, right. Cooking pot. Oh, dried elves here. Good. Okay, let's just do some cooking really quick. I think we can cook. Yeah. And... Nice. Good. Okay. Nice little seat here. Eat some dinner. Let's have some of that horker loaf. We know it's fresh. Recently cooked. Grilled leek. A uh, couple honey brew mead. And a tomato. Sounds good. Now, uh, our room. Do just a little bit of reading. These books tend to be short. This will be the end of an episode again. Um, so if you don't want to dig into this, just uh, fast forward to the next video and you won't miss any gameplay. Uh, and again, the Elder Scrolls, uh, Elder Lore podcast, the gentleman who does the Elder Lore podcast, made a mod called The Wanderer's Tale, which these books are an element of. Subscribe to the uh, podcast if you'd like. Um, very enjoyable, I find it. And uh, check out the mod, if you so wish. It's on the uh, Steam Workshop, I think. Uh, this is Myth and Religion Book 4, Creation Mythology, by Carrick Oswin. Let me just take a quick drink of water. Okay. The Anuad. According to the Anuad, the first beings were Anu and Padme, and they were brothers. Anu was a being of light, Padme of darkness, and between them, Nera was made. Nera was beautiful, and both brothers instantly fell in love with her, but she loved only Anu. Padme retreated, uh, retreats in bitterness, but when he hears that Nera has become pregnant, he returns in vengeance. He strikes down Nera, but she does not yet die. She lives long enough to give birth to the twelve worlds of creation before she passes on. While this happens, Anu has grappled with Padme, overcome him, and thrown him outside of time. Anu is filled with despair, and is in mourning when Padme returns to destroy the Twelve Worlds. Ooh. Anu remakes the broken remnants of the Twelve Worlds into one, names it Naren, and then takes the fight to his brother. 
They wrestle, and eventually pull each other out of time forever. The blood of Padme becomes the Daedra, the blood of Anu becomes the stars, and where their blood mixed was made the Aedra. Aldmeri Myth of Iurbis The Aldmer believe that the Grey Maybe of Nern, referred to here as Iurbis, did not become the mortal plane until there was violence. Accounts vary. Some believe that the original spirits gave of themselves to make the mortal plane. Others believe that Lorcan tricked the spirits into making war on each other. In either case, the mortal plane was made out of the carcasses of the dead spirits. The Aldmer believed that this was a disservice, that it forever sundered them from their divine ancestors and their potential as becoming divine themselves. Altmeri Myth of the Heart of the World the Altmer maintain that some of the original spirits managed to escape their fate, as described previously. Some of these at Ada became the Elnafe, ancestors of man, men and elves. Lorcan was able to recruit the most weak-minded of the Elnafe into his army. These would be the ancestors of men. Trinimac, Ariel, and the other Elnafe march against Lorcan. In the end, Trinimac rips Lorcan's heart out, and Ariel fires it from his bow far into the east. Lorcan's heart lands in Dwemereth, where its landing forms the great volcano known as Red Mountain. Yokudin Myth of the World Skin The Yokudins believe in the beginning there was Satak, a great serpent that was coiled around the worlds and around itself. It was coiled so tightly that the worlds had no room to breathe. This is when Akel began to grow inside Satak, Akel being a great indescribable hunger. Akel convinces Satak to, own, to eat and eat and eat, until the only thing left to eat is his own heart. Satak dies, and the new worlds are made from his skin. Cyrodiilic Myth of Shezar The Cyrodiils know Lorcan as Shezar. Shezar convinces the Aedra to make the world after giving them a beautiful speech about parenthood and about caring for lower, lower life forms. The Aedra give of themselves freely to make the world, but find their power greatly diminished afterward. The Daedra, seeing how the Aedra have weakened, begin mocking them and decide to make their own planes for themselves. We can see the differences between this and elven myth. It seems obvious as to why the elves might be angry about the creation of the mortal realm, while humans view the event as being a great mercy. Thus ends Book 4 of the Myth and Religion series, Creation Mythology. And so, we go to bed tonight in the College of Winterhold. This, the fifth of Sun's Dusk. Wednesday, the fourth era, 201. And tomorrow, we head south. South for Lost Knife Hideout. South for the Imperial Camp in the Rift. And south, God's willing, to close the rupture in Falkreath Hold. Thank you, everyone. Stick with it. More Let's Roleplay Skyrim tomorrow.